In this TV series, we will follow four of our colleagues who are on a mission to discover the new Volvo cars. What will they find? This is Volvo Cars Explorers. Four new employees at Volvo Cars are on a journey together. They visit places and people that are new to them. They do not know what their next mission will be. Uh, I hope to see a little bit of everything. Uh, I hope to see manufacturing, different departments, how it all kind of comes together. Uh, yeah, I'm really going into it with an open mind. Uh, I'm really excited. Volvo Cars is reinventing itself. Our explorer's mission is to learn more about what we are and where we are heading. You have this picture in your mind, but mostly you don't get to see how things actually work from up all the way to the other departments. But with this program, you get to actually see, hear how things are done. You get a, a bigger picture. Volvo Cars has been uh, so global than ever. I only see what happens in China. Now they have the opportunity to see how the company works away from their home turf and they are already full of questions. If you see the assembly line, the, the plant in Gothenburg, and if you compare it with China, are they different? Our first destination is Gothenburg, the city where the story of Volvo began. 90 years ago. Here we meet Anton, our Swedish explorer. My name is Anton Skorbratt. I have a background in wireless testing and I recently joined Volvo Cars working with wireless technologies in the car. I uh, work sometimes in the office, sometimes here in a test site. Basically this tent is, uh, is made to uh, get you away from the weather conditions basically and the site is located away from other uh, radio sources, so it should be interference free here. Yeah, here you have a big gate where you drive in the car from the other side. Uh, so usually Ty is standing here uh, showing me how to drive the car so that we match uh, the turntable uh, markings there on the floor. So it's important that it's located the same way every time we test. It's time to meet up with the other explorers. Anton's first mission is to gather them all for a traditional tour in the Torschlander factory. Hey, hey. Hey, Anton. Morning. 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 Welcome to the factory tour. Complexity was also very interesting. How everything comes together. You have doors that are taken off from the body right in the beginning. They go through all this line and the same cars being built, different cars built on the same platform. That was, yeah, interesting. Normally, the tour stops here, but for four of you, we have a special stop. Uh, behind that doors, the company's CEO, Håkan Samuelsson, is waiting for you. Wow. It's like, whoa. What question should I ask him right away? I thought this is going to be so much fun. You are four new employees in, in Volvo. Yes. So. yes. yes. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you for the decision you made to start working for Volvo Cars. 
and really hope that you will find this company a great pr place to work at. To start off the explorer's journey in the best way possible, they get to ask Volvo Cars president and CEO Hawken Samuelson about the company's strategy to become truly global. And, and even if we have been working uh, internationally earlier, we have never been really true global with production in uh, yeah, Asia Pacific, Europe and Americas. And, and that's something that lies ahead of us. And, and uh, with that, we need to really, of course, uh, grow in size. You cannot just export, you need to be present. Volvo Cars' manufacturing footprint now stretches across the global regions. Mark wants to know more, not least since the company is currently building its first factory on American soil. Yeah, it was really great seeing the plant here. Uh, what is the strategy behind setting up a new factory? We have, we have one starting in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. We really have to be local. We have to understand better the uh, American consumers. Uh, we have to understand more what potential suppliers do we have in the US and, and it's also a lot about uh, giving the commitment to our retailers in the US that we are in the US to stay and to grow. Uh, I, I think you should produce where you sell, that is the base rule, I mean that gives you the best economy but uh, it doesn't mean that you produce locally all the cars you sell there, I mean there is a trade-off. Anton steers the conversation towards research and development questions. What are your thoughts on R&D? I mean, will there be a big focus here in Gothenburg or do we need to expand that globally? So I think it's an, an important question to get to see his views on where we should have the R&D focus. I mean, I'm an R&D guy, so I, <laughs> I have a natural interest for the technology part of it. The main resources for development is here. It's not that everything will be done here. And I think uh, lately we have taken the decision, for example, development of sedans. Mm -hmm. uh, we will move over and do much more and more in Shanghai in the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the US we have also opened up a uh, center in uh, Mountain, Mountain View. Mountain View, California. And, and especially for type of connectivity and uh, a really global organization will, uh, will of course be much more diverse. We will have people from America, China and Europe and, and uh, we will have um, more talents, better talents on board if we are a true global company. Time is running out, but Cherie gets to ask a final question. What do you think or what do you see the future for Volvo as a company, as a young uh, Volvo new employees. It's very interesting to hear what CEOs, our CEOs, is thinking. I, I think it's uh, first. It, it is uh, a really a true global company, and and also a company with a true premium image, competing with the with the German uh, premium makers. According to the CEO. It all comes down to attracting the best talent. And we should really be the employer of choice for, for uh, talents for the future. I think that is one of the absolute most important uh, factors and bottlenecks really for, for real success. After the unexpected meeting with Hawk and Samuelson, the explorers sit down together. So funny, at the end he said, uh, I got a new car, it's the best Volvo car. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna ask what that is. It's a China produced an S90 long wheel base. Oh, it's so comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> so First, it was nervous excitement. Uh, and then, after we started speaking with him uh, a little bit, we could tell that he wanted honest answers and honest questions of um, ideas and things that we've, you know, we have. Uh, questions about the company and where the company is headed in the direction and what's going to happen with uh, young people like ourselves and what we're going to experience moving forward. Our explorers have started to learn about Volvo Car's global strategy. Now their journey will begin to experience it firsthand. We have a plant in Chengdu, in the kind of middle of China and the very north of China in Daqing. And I don't know if we're going to go to one of those, those plants. What do you think we're going to do in Belgium? In Belgium? In your hood. We are going to eat chocolate. Eat chocolate? <laughs>
I'm, I mean, we don't know much what to do yet, so it's very exciting. Uh, I mean, this was an amazing surprise. So, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the whole process. It's, uh, it's going to be so much fun, especially with this group of people. Hawken Samuelson is interested to see what the group will learn during their missions. He hopes this will be a go out and see experience that will benefit his own outlook as well. I think so. Go out and see is really understanding the reality from seeing it instead of trying to read some kind of uh, descriptions. It's, it's much faster seeing it. And I see this company from a bit from the top maybe. So I think it would be really interesting to hear their impression.